up, everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Ultimate Edition Attitude Era Ring. Is this a new ring that we don't have yet? Yes. I think this is going to be epic. How did we acquire the Ultimate Edition Attitude Era ring? From our friend Jordan. Our buddy Jordan, who is a local collector. We met him through collecting. He had this for sale and we did a trade with him. Now, know that it's supposed to come with that cane, but we worked out a trade with Jordan. Ryder only wanted the ring, so Jordan was kind enough to separate the cane in the ring so that's how we have gotten to where we're at now Let's take a look at the box man Ooh. and this box right here this looks to be a little bit smaller a little bit more compact than the other boxes that we're used to getting let's look here at the back of the box and isn't that cool that like on a figure they have cane stats here and Ryder why don't you slide down here and tell us what all comes with this attitude air ring fabric bras wars ring skirts fabric turnbuckle and attitude era ring post ultimate edition cane with swappable heads and hands lifelike detail and authentic <laughs> authenticity good job and guys bro. stay tuned because there there is a really sick de detail with, with this ring yes and it is the main reason why you wanted this ring let's get to unboxing man i hope this isn't tough raw is more attitude air ring out of the package and Ryder, do you feel a little bit overwhelmed with how much stuff there is only with these parts because you have to do them in a specific order. Yeah, you do have to do them in a specific order. The cool thing is these turnbuckles are, and ropes are already put together. If you've been around for any of our other ring assembly videos, you know that that's a super aggravating part. But those are already on there, so that's cool. And Ryder, I think that we might... Or we might have to do that thing that us guys don't like to do and read instructions. According to the instructions right here, we got to start on building the base of the ring, which will be this. Thankfully though, Ryder, that is the part with the most pieces. We're gonna dive on into this. Stay tuned to see how we get this thing built. We've got all the first steps of the, of the building process out of the plastic. So it separates into A1 and A2 pieces, which this side is A1. And then A2 is right there. And A2's in there. Don't know if you guys can see that. And you got your four ring posts. And then you move on and you got B1 sides. And then the B2 right And there. B2 sides. There it is right there. So what this thing is telling us, you grab one B piece and one A piece and pretty much just go all the way around the ring. We're going to try this out. Hopefully it's not that hard. For the last and final steps, I want to show you guys what the base of this thing looks like. And Ryder, would you say, would you tell everyone at home that this thing is way more sturdy than the off? authentic wicked cool toys ring yes everything just snaps into place it's not as bad as what we had thought you just have these little pieces right here just stick i think this is the what piece rider the, That's the yeah, you got your b pieces and your a pieces and they literally just click into place and then that will be the base of the attitude air ring complete step number two the part that Ryder is most excited about, and I'm only speaking on your behalf because I know this is the is, reason I wanted to get it. Is the reason that you were so excited. Let's get those things off. We only have one wooden plank left. As you see, there are three of those. One, two, and three right here. Ryder just scared the absolute crap out of me. I did not know this. Apparently he's been on YouTube watching videos on how to assemble this ring. <laughs> But what you do is you snap the wooden planks through these pre-drilled holes that you have here. Almost made me crap on myself because I thought <laughs> that he had already broken it. That was not the case. Now we're gonna finish getting on the plank. Step three or step C is the canvas. We got to get that thing unraveled and what it is telling us once you get it unraveled you have little hooks on the canvas or little strings on the canvas that you hook in and that's what ties it down and keeps it tight now with the canvas out of the plastic you see that you have certain spots where they have to go under or excuse me where where the ring posts are so Ryder, what what did you say about this canvas it feels cottony and i do not like the feeling of the canvas as per the instructions it will be easiest if you lay the canvas face down, put the ring, 
on top of it. And you see, you just put those, you, you line those holes up with these hooks and very carefully put them in there. Now I was telling Ryder, to me, I don't like that because if one of these holes right here were to rip, it would totally destroy this canvas. Well, not destroy it, but you would have a wrinkle in it and that would not look good. And you definitely don't want that. It is now on there and Ryder, look Ooh, at how ow. smooth that thing is. What do you think of that? On to step E, insert the short supports around the ring mat. You have 12 long pieces and eight of these short pieces, and now we're gonna go ahead and get them installed. All eight of the short ring posts, or underneath the ring, I guess it is still a ring post, have been assembled. We're gonna go on to the next step, which is insert the long supports under the ring, which will be these guys right here, and you will put those into the wooden planks. With those 12 support bars and the short support bars all in there, we flip it over and attach the ring post. Step E is now complete. Whenever you push this in, make sure that you are careful. And here's snap too. Yes, you do want to hear a little click, but again, be careful. These are like the wicked cool toys ring post. Our next step is going to be and these. And nope. Oh. E F G. Do you even know your alphabet, dude? <laughs> I forgot about that. It's all good. I was just giving you a hard time. So boom, here's the Rawls War skirt. We're gonna get those on now. The Rawls War ring skirt is on. But Ryder, what did you say that she was not a fan of? How this is just, just like lifting up. Yeah, it if you really annoys me, and, and you can't fix it because if like. If you look, all right. So the the skirts they have elastic on both sides where they sit on the ring post. And guys, by the way, it's going to be easier whenever you put these skirts on, if you put these on, or if you don't already have these on, because you're going to have to attempt to stretch them over that. And doing that three times is going to wear down the elastic band on it. So I would definitely be careful with that. But so or, far, what? Or you could just take this off. Which is what we did. Yeah, and then slip, slip it under the hole. Yep, you can do that. Ryder said that this is the only thing that he doesn't like, how the ring skirt is up. And we're gonna try to figure out a way to get those down. It is, it is kind of annoying because as you see, it can't go any further down because the ring canvas, right? I mean, the, excuse me, the, the, the wooden part of it. Now we're gonna move on to step H, which is attach the ropes and turnbuckles to the ring post, starting from the bottom all the way up. So what can you tell me about these turnbuckles and ropes? The turnbuckles are cloth, and the, the, this is not all white like the nowadays ropes. Like nowadays ropes? Yeah. Well, this is an attitude era ring based off of the 90s, so yes, you would be right. And Ryder, what is this? Those cannot come off, I don't think, but those are what keeps the turnbuckles together. Yeah. AKA, this is not gonna be annoying having to push that pin through the bottom of that hole. And I am very excited. That should make for a very easy installation of the ropes and turnbuckles, pads, and turnbuckles, yeah, I guess you could say. And these right here, these turnbuckles, seem a little bit more heavy duty than the Wicked Cool Toys. So let's get this thing off. <laughs> Guys, the new gen. Oh, not yet. Go ahead. Now I can say that. The ultimate edition Raw is War ring is complete. Even though you haven't played on it, what's your thoughts so far? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Just want to say there's a couple things that you might want to know. You got this tag right here. We just moved ours. We let that be on the bottom so it kind of be out of the way. On each set, you will notice that some of these do not slide in this. And we just put all those together just to keep them there for the sake of having everything just in the same spot. I don't know. Kind of weird like that. And this is also kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of annoying because with the the different ring post, I mean, I mean, with the different turnbuckles, it like pops out a little bit when you squeeze it, and then that one popped out a little bit. All you gotta do is just throw it back in there. Ryder, I think what we need to do is bring out the Wicked Cool Toys ring for size comparison. You wanna do that? Mm -hmm. We now have, dude, this canvas is so dirty. We now have the Wicked Cool Toys ring right here and the Ultimate Edition Attitude Era ring right there. And Ryder has said that he thinks that the Wicked Cool Toys ring is a little bit 
bit bigger. We're gonna check that out in a minute to see, but Ryder wanted to do a bump test comparison. Go ahead and do it, dude. Hit the Wicked Cool Toys ring first. All right, yeah. Sounded like a regular bump inside of a ring. <laughs> what makes you so excited about that? It, it, I, I can like hear the wood. But it's actually just plastic. I know. But you like the way that sounds yeah. better. Let's see which one is actually bigger. So check it out. Sorry if everything's backwards. The Ultimate Edition Attitude Air Ring is actually uh, is a little bit smaller than the Wicked Cool Toys Ring. Not by much, but if you hold it upside down for comparison, you can see that it's, I mean, it is just literally a smidge bigger. And by a smidge, I literally mean right here. That's where the Ultimate Edition Ring comes to. What? <laughs> And then also, there's also no tag rope. On the Ultimate Edition ring. Yeah, no tag yeah, rope. Yeah, but you know, thankfully that's not anything that we can't fashion up. It shouldn't be hard at all. Let's talk about the good. No, 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 let's talk about the bad. What don't you like about Attitude Area Ring? The skirt. It, 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 it's like impossible to get back on. So, yeah, that it's, you're talking about how it sits up a little bit right here as to where this one right here doesn't. Yeah, I think that is kind of a bummer. No, you can adjust it, but like, I wish it didn't go through right here. Right where? Right oh, there. yeah, like how it kind of cuts off. What do you like about the Attitude Area Ring? The wood in the turnbuckles. The wood in the turnbuckles is your favorite part. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you like it, dude. I'm glad that we were able to strike up a deal with our friend Jordan. And Jordan, if you're watching, thank you again so much for making this happen for Ryder. I'm sure that it's gonna bring him a lot of joy, wouldn't you say? And guys, don't forget to subscribe. Throw a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to enable those bell notifications so you don't miss any of this guy's future reviews. Thanks for joining us. We love you all. And that's it for me, Ronnie. Bye.